This Steinway is the Model A. It is six feet two inches long, and it has a very, very old history. If you study the history of Steinway scale designs, it's very interesting that from 1853 until the early part of the 1900s, Steinway never made a grand piano that was less than six feet in length. That's because their engineers had discovered that the low registers, the bass and the tenor, are much richer if you have a piano that is six feet or larger. And that is why the Model A was invented. It has enough depth for a professional pianist to be satisfied, particularly with the bass and tenor registers. And it has that same appeal to a serious amateur. Some of the features of the Model A that stand out are the continuously bent hard rock maple rim, which not only gives the piano its structural integrity, but helps to create excellent soundboard vibrations. It is the only mid-sized Steinway with the treble bell, shared by the Model B and the Model D, which are larger Steinways. The smallest Steinways do not have that feature, which actually stabilizes the tuning mechanism in the high treble registers. The Model A is also the smallest Steinway that has what's called the wide tail design. Instead of a symmetrically round half-circle tail or rear of the piano, it is squared off on the far left corner so that it affords for a larger soundboard, longer bridges, and more square inches of vibrating spruce, which is really the diaphragm that controls the amount of sound waves that get to your ear. The wide tail design also affords a longer string. The long strings in the Model A, especially in the bass and the tenor, give you a richness that is unavailable in any smaller piano a projection, a sonority, and a power that you cannot find in smaller instruments. We've been talking about the sound, and now we will talk about the touch. The touch of this piano is designed specifically to access the color palette of the Model A. It has all of the same components and geometry of even the larger Steinways with respect to measurements and quality of materials and design. The sensitivity of this action is really quite phenomenal. It is very, very responsive and it can do anything that the pianist asks of it. In the grand piano keys, the way they put the lead weights in and the way off affords you more control over the color within the piano, within the sound of the piano. And also the size of the hammers will relate to this geometry and, this, and the physics of it. It gives you more control over the color that is within the palette, within the piano. It gives you uh, the ability to w draw colors out, and loud and soft, in different shades, in, in a way that a smaller piano just cannot do it. We've been talking about the touch and the tone of the Steinway Model A. Of course, you have to hear it for yourself. You have to play it for yourself. Click the link at the end of this video and make an appointment at one of our showrooms. Thank you.